three, two, one. We have ignition. God bless everyone, this is Brother David. Today's my birthday, I turned 43 years old. And what better way to spend the day than to serve the Lord a cup of half coffee by sharing his message to the churches. The Lord and his messengers, the angels, hath been showing me the numbers three to one all throughout this year. Three to one means to lead up, bring up. Also means offer, produce, put to sea, set sail, launch, like a space shuttle, amen, rapture, it's what it means, rapture, for the obedient, be encouraged, we're about to take off soon, together with the number 321, I also received the numbers 355, which means I destroy, annihilate, expand, consume. The Lord is our consuming fire. The day of tribulation is fast approaching. Amen. This is not a message for the secular world or for the unbelievers. This message is for the believers, Christians, those who taste the Lord and found he was good but are still struggling with sin in their lives I have a few questions for you if Jesus paid the price for our sin then why do you still hold on to sin how much is sin costing you if you're still suffering the consequences of sin it is because you have not let go quit the excuses it's just too hard. I have tried, but I keep going back to it. Idolizing your work. I work hard all week. Maybe next time, Lord. Breaking promises. I only have enough for my bills. I'll pay tidings next time, Lord. Here's a very stupid one I heard a close relative say recently. I lie because it benefits someone else. Wow. Blaming others. You don't know what I've been through, who I work with, who I am married to, how my own family treats me. Going back to idolizing your old habits. I smoke because my friends do it. I don't drink every day. I do it to feel better. I'm not hurting anyone but myself. Here's a classic one. It's Satan's fault. He tempted me. Self-pity. I'll never change. Or, I hate myself. Did you know that you are cursing yourself? Saying these things is effectively cursing yourself. For power is in the tongue. Amen? Saying you cannot let go of your sins using these excuses is selfish and comes with a high price. By saying these things, you are defining the value of your sin to be worth more than your spouse and children's and even your very own soul. In other words, you have priced your sin much more higher than anything else because in the end, it will cost you everything. The word says, the price of sin is death. Calculate the cost of living in sin. You enjoy your sins for a moment, sure, but only temporarily. It never fully satisfies. It can be financially expensive. You lose the people that truly cares for you. You could lose your own salvation according to the word of God. Revelation 2, 5. What causes someone to underestimate the cost of sin? The absence of fear, a lack of value, a lack of respect for God. 
and God will not be mocked. Whether you know it or not, you've been judged for your defiance already. To tribulation, to remain on earth, to face the wrath of God. Jesus paid the price for your sins. Let him be the God of your life. Repent and let go of your sins. Stop looking back. Remember Lot's wife. May 21st, 2022. I felt the presence of the Lord while worshiping him in the living room. Still feeling him. I received the number 636 to set sail. Thank you, Lord. April 11, the word unrelenting came to my wife in a dream at 3.21 a.m. This means unstoppable rapture event. And rapture ushers in tribulation, the day of the Lord, for the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. The unrelenting storm continue to destroy the world and seem as if it would never end. That's the word that came with that number. My God, why did they not listen? Why do they refuse to repent and come to Jesus in obedience? I asked the Lord this question one day and he answered, because they love their sins. Hmm. Because they love their sins. April 20, 2022. I received the number 304. It means, in strong Greeks, it means a going up, an ascent, a step, a flight of steps. April 20th, 2022. I received two set of numbers 403. In Greek, it means a cooling refreshing came with Acts chapter 3 verse 20 where it says of the messianic blessedness to be ushered in by the return of Christ from heaven I also received 404 in Hebrew means surely this is his promise for a 1000 year millennium reign of peace on earth once we return with Jesus on his second coming at the end. Grace is taken away from Christians sinning willingly and repeatedly. They become enemies of God and lose salvation through the means of rapture. Hebrew 10, 26, 27. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth there remain no more sacrifice for sin but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries what is the knowledge of the truth jesus to know god and his word and his will for us what is god's will that we come to him in repentance and obedience who are these that receive the knowledge of the truth? No other than Christians themselves. The scriptures say, for these Christians choosing to sin repeatedly, there remains no more sacrifice for sin. This means that you're legally voiding your rights to the blood of Christ covering you, and that you'll be looking forward to the terrible anger of God that will destroy his enemies. Amen. To willingly sin repeatedly after having known Jesus is to be an enemy of God. That's what the Bible says. He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. This is the way God's judgments worked from the beginning. The Lord will warn you to repent twice or maybe three times and that's it. According to the New Testament, this applies to us today, and the Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen? How much more severely do you think someone deserves to be punished who has trampled the Son of God underfoot, who has treated as an unholy thing the blood of the covenant that sanctified them, and who has insulted the Spirit of grace? This cannot be more clear. The Bible says not to grieve the Holy Spirit.
Lukewarm Christians and backsliders repeatedly sinning. You have trampled Jesus under your feet and insulted the Holy Spirit of God. That is what the Bible says. For we know the one who said, I will take revenge. I will pay them back. And again, the Lord will judge his own people. The Lord will judge his own people. Lastly, for those of you holding on to sin and saying, the Lord is blessing me. He loves me. He understands my struggles. The benefit you're briefly enjoying now are blessings from Satan. He has you exactly where he wants you. Distracted and comfortable until you miss the rapture. My wife dreamt that she was watching a horror movie with friends, but not being interested, she began to fall asleep on the sofa, dreaming of a trumpet sound, then waking up asking if someone heard it, but no one did heard it. And she asked herself in this dream, I hope I didn't miss the rapture for wasting my time. And she went to go check outside if someone that was saved was still around or gone. A fussy dog was chasing her to hurt her and someone said he's chasing to hurt you because you are afraid of it and need to stand up against it and kick him. The dog stopped after my wife made a stand confronting it. We understood the Lord was telling us in this dream to not get distracted and to stand strong against the enemy and he will flee. The same day, we fasted from electronics and TV. While taking a nap at 3.30 p.m. that same day, I saw a three-second dream of a letter with beautiful letters written with a feather dipped in ink that read, the goal is to submit and to bend. I understood that that meant to give oneself to the Lord in bended knees to Him. Oh, how exciting, brothers and sisters, the Lord is coming sooner than soon. And we, the wise virgins, the flock obedient to his voice, walking in holiness and forsaking sin daily, we are going to see the face of the Lord as he is. Hallelujah. We are his bride, the bride of Christ, and we are excited to see him as much as he is, if not more. Amen. The other day in the clouds in front of us as we walked back from the park we noticed one of the clouds had the form and shape of a number eight and the meaning of the number eight in the bible is new beginnings new horizon resurrection from the dead into eternity then we notice that number eight cloud transform into a number three and next to it appear a number two and a little farther to the right, a number one. I was able to take this picture. A minute after it began fading away, it was a lot more clear and wider, but it's still obvious and you can see as I highlighted them with a pan over each cloud. If you don't see this, then ask the Lord to open your spiritual eyes because it's right there, pretty obvious. And the number three, two, and one, as I mentioned earlier in this video, means to bring up, set sail, to launch forward. We're going up soon. In the name of Jesus, come Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory God. Thank you, Jesus.